Applications of Parabola in Real Life, Module 2, Parabola. Example number 1. A satellite dish has a diameter of 16 feet. The position of the receiver, which is a focus, is 6 feet from the base, which is the vertex. How deep is the dish? Given, the diameter of satellite dish is 16 feet. The receiver, which is the focus, is 6 feet from the base, which is the vertex. So you have observed that the focus is above the vertex. So it means that the parabola opens upward. Therefore, we will use this equation. The vertex at the point of origin. So we will now substitute the values of h and k. Then we obtain x squared is equal to 4py. From the given, the focus is 6 feet from the base, so the value of P is 6. So let us now illustrate this in the Cartesian plane. So the distance of the focus from the vertex is 6. Therefore, the coordinates of focus are 0 and 6. Since it is already given that the diameter of the satellite dish is 16 feet, then, the radius of the satellite is 8 feet, which is the value of x. So, one of the endpoints of the diameter is 8, comma y. Then, the value of y is the height of the dish. So, we will now substitute the values of x and p since it is already given so we have 8 squared is equal to 4 times 6 y then we have 64 is equal to 24 y then to find the value of y which is the height so we have divide both sides of our equation by 24 then we obtain 2.67 as the value of y which is the height of the satellite dish Example number two, a parabolic arc has a height of 20 meters and a width of 36 meters at the base. If the vertex of the parabola is on top of the arc, at which height above the base is 18 meters wide? Given, the height of parabolic arc is 20 meters. So let us now illustrate this. Then the vertex of the parabolic arc is 0, 20. The width of the base is 36 meters. Therefore, the endpoints of the base are negative 18, 0 and positive 18, 0. Now, which height above the base is 18 meters wide? So since it is given that the width of the parabola is 18 meters then we're now going to find the end points of this width okay from the center which is the axis of symmetry to one of the end points since that is nine unit therefore the coordinates are nine and y and on the other end point which is also nine unit from the axis of symmetry with the coordinates of negative nine and y now, we will now use the equation quantity x minus h squared is equal to 4p times y minus k. Since the opening of the graph opens downward, it is expected that the value of p is negative or less than 0. Let us find the value of p. From the given vertex, with the coordinates of 0 and 20 and the given endpoints of the of the base which are negative 18 comma 0 and 18 comma 0 but we will only need one point so we will now choose which one we are going to use at this example i choose 18 comma 0 as the value of x and y let us now substitute the values 
let us start with h and k. So we have the quantity x minus 0 squared is equal to 4p times y minus 20. And substitute the values of x and y. So since x is 18 and y is 0, then we obtain 18 squared is equal to 4p times negative 20. Then we are now going to simplify. So 18 squared is 324, while 4p times negative 20 is negative 80p. Then find the value of p. So we will now divide both sides of our equation by negative 80. Therefore, the value of p is negative 4.05. So now, let's go back to our equation, which is the standard form. So we will now substitute the values of h, p, and k. Then we obtain x squared is equal to negative 16.2 times y minus 20. Then since we're looking for the value of y, which is the height, and the value of x is already given, which is 9, we will now substitute the value of x. So we have 9 squared is equal to negative 16.2 times y plus 324. So where did we get positive 324? When we distribute the value or when we distribute 16.2 to the expression inside the quantity, which is y minus 20. So therefore, negative 16.2 times negative 20, which is positive 324. Then 9 squared is 81 is equal to negative 16.2y plus 324. Then to find the value of y, we need to transpose 324 on the other side of our equation. So we obtain 81 minus 30, 324 is equal to negative 16.2y. Then we have negative 243 is equal to negative 16.2y. And we are now going to find the value of y by dividing both sides of our equation by negative 16.2. Therefore, the value of y is 15. So the height of the height is 15 meters. Example number three. The receiving dish of a cable TV is in the shape of paraboloid of revolution. Find the location of the receiver which is placed at the focus if the dish is 14 feet across and 4 feet deep. So given, we have 14 feet across and 4 feet deep. So let us now illustrate this in the Cartesian plane. So you have observed that we have a paraboloid of revolution in which the diameter of its opening is 14 feet. Therefore, the radius is 7 feet. So to find the one of the endpoints of the diameter, which is with the radius of 7 and the height from the vertex is 4 feet. Therefore, the coordinates are 7 and 4. Now, let us now use the equation the quantity x minus h squared is equal to 4p times y minus k since the graph opens upward. Then the vertex at the point of origin. Therefore, the values of h and k are both 0. Then substitute the values. Then we obtain x squared is equal to 4py. Then, since we have one of the endpoints of the diameter, so we have the value of x and the value of y. So the x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 4. Then we will now substitute the values of x and y. So 7 squared is equal to 4, p times 4. Then we have 49 is equal to 16, p. Then to find the value of p, we need to divide both sides of our equation by 16. Therefore, the value of p is 3.0625. Therefore, the location is with the coordinates of 0, and 3.0625. So if we're going to plot this 
in our Cartesian plane. So this is now the location of the focus. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Thank you again.